All right. So I've read quite a few books on uh, presidents, uh, books that I could get for free from the library, and uh, I've gone uh, from George Washington uh, up until uh, George Bush, and learned in between just kind of some patterns, I think, de that's developed over the years. And it seems that uh, people really relish the militaristic um, leaders <clears throat> early on in, in uh, American culture, you know, with George Washington leading the revolutionary charge against the British and then becoming president. Uh, he, he was <clears throat> uh, really helped by his military background. And that's like, we, the military had its own, its own function and, uh, people respected uh, people who became leaders in the military uh, because it just it had that uh, that the type of uh, leadership that people thought would be good enough to run the country. But that seemed to have shifted over time um, in the eighteen what twenties, eighteen thirties, with Andrew Jacks, not Andrew Jackson. Um, who did I, who did I read in that time frame? Um, Jacksonian, yeah, Jacksonian. There, there are Jacksonian uh, people out there still. J Andrew Jackson, uh, who who was a military leader and and took over Florida, and he he uh, he appealed to the people um, with his military background. He also he also reached out by. Um, going to the the states and, and giving speeches and and really uh, resonating with people on on a on a like a more sociable level, unlike how the the politicians were um, just kind of relying on their party lines more so to get elected, and. Uh, yeah, it it's it's started a shift towards uh, from military uh, towards uh, more business background. It seems um, in in the nineteen hundreds or so, um, there there's just there's some something that that uh, became unappealing about the military leaders, uh, and maybe maybe it's because they're just kind of seen as the puppets of the government since not really in a position of leadership themselves or or a position where they they can be be, be creative themselves while in the military they have to just follow orders as as instructed they just became less less popular these military leaders even even uh, up until the 1960s i read about lyndon b johnson's history um <clears throat> he felt it was important to to have a military background he went through a lot of um, uh, steps and loopholes to just be be in the action a little bit during World War II, just so he could um, fall back on those credentials and, and talk about them. Um, yeah, people people saw the a little military background as as being useful uh, politically, but uh, not maybe not on the level that it, it uh, needed to be. Um, and I remember in the in the reading about Colin Powell's history, uh, he he turned he people thought he should run for president then in the nineties, but he turned that down. I mean, he is completely a military background type of guy, but he he just he didn't see that as being a, a good option. Um, <clears throat> but in between that. Uh, like decline of the military leadership uh rose the the uh what do they call them the the tycoons the business tycoons who who started to uh figure out uh politics a little bit better and becoming more effective at it you don't you don't need to to win wars go out there and win wars or or whatnot uh you, you raise money instead you raise support and it's, it takes it uh politics has taken on a a different um direction um 
and we're getting a new flavor of leaders that are, are becoming politicians. And and if you look further into the future, it's it's interesting. Um, you know, you don't really hear about uh, major computer uh, leaders or technology leaders getting into this into politics as much. Carly, Carly Fiorina, she doesn't have a chance, but um, it's the, the computer uh, generation is, is coming up too, and that I think that would be interesting, going from uh, like the business leaders um, taking over uh, politics to uh, more technology sector types. Um, it's, it's definitely going through a shift uh, with the uh, with leadership and what's what's acceptable to, to the the public as as a, a background for a, a leader these days.